Hi Scorpio, it's Elle. I hope everybody's having a fabulous uh, week. I was gonna say start to your week, but it is in the middle of the week, right? So uh, before we get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to be notified every time I do post a new video. Like, comment, share, show your love and support. As always, please keep it positive, right? If you would like a personal reading, that information is going to be in the description box below. How to reach me, how to make a payment. I do accept Venmo and Cash App. Also, um, these are free readings, so any donations are much appreciated. Uh, like I said before, I accept Venmo and Cash App. I also do have a GoFundMe link in the description box below. If you would like to donate and you do not want to use Venmo or Cash App, uh, I do have an upcoming surgery I'm preparing or having to take time off work, etc. So that's there if anybody would like to donate. Um, what else? Sunday through Sunday, I do a giveaway. So if you donate, I'm not even gonna look at what that is yet. You will receive a, uh, your name will go into a drawing for a free 15 minute reading. If you win the drawing, you get a free 15 minute reading. So it is a little incentive to donate if you would like to. Uh, you might have an opportunity for a free personal reading. Um, my email address also is in the description box below. Please don't forget to send an email in regards to uh, personal reading so I know what we're reading for, guys. So, and I have a way to email your reading back to you. Let's go ahead and hop in. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guys, please help me provide Scorpio, sun, moon, rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. Archangel Michael, please block any negative energy being sent our way. Send it back into the universe, into nothingness. Amen. All right. What do we have for the collective of Scorpio today, Spirit? What messages do we have? Do a quick check-in. I don't have time to get super into it today. Uh-oh. Okay. So... I mean, not necessarily at all, right? Let's just go ahead and flip them, right? Since <laughs> they're wanting to come out anyway. All right, so I've got the nine of wands, overall energy. Uh, to me, Scorpio, we're kind of, I feel like with this deck, it says I have fire at the bottom, which is interesting. I never really think about that when you get the nine of pentacles, but it's, I mean, excuse me, nine of, <laughs> it came out for a reason too, right? We'll talk about that, but the nine of wands, right? This is my wounded warrior. You've been through a lot. Um, whatever you've got going on in your life is kind of fueled by some sort of passion in regards to what you've already survived, what you've been through in life, your life experiences, right? So overall energy, I feel like we're kind of carrying this weight, but it's it's more of a good thing, I feel. It's, it's kind of got you a little bit more focused, passion-driven. Um, I mean, we are talking about a Scorpio, but yeah, strength right underneath that. So... Um, the first card I pulled was the moon card. Um, so right now you could be going through a phase, a period or time of time in your life and you've got the nine of pentacles. So I said, we talk about it, right? <laughs> so it's funny that the nine of pentacles is already out here, but um, a lot of you, if you face some type of you know, surprising situation here, okay, that with the Four of Cups could have been a, a, a rejection in some way, shape, or form. If it doesn't have to do with the relationship, it is, um, you know, something here where, uh, you know, things didn't work out the way that you wanted them to. Things being illuminated, though, in that regard. Um, I see a lot of you, too, with this energy. You've kind of been like, okay, I'm good alone, or I've, I've been good alone um, for a minute, <laughs> is what I'm hearing too, Scorpio. So for some of you, this is just, I feel like past stuff resurfacing that you already kindly, <laughs> kind of already knew about. I actually said Cardi, right? What? Okay. Is somebody drinking already? Isn't that Bacardi, or Butts Bacardi? Okay, I don't know. Isn't that why Cardi B though named her? I don't know. Okay, whole nother subject, but somebody's drinking. Okay, so the Four of Cups. 
Scorpio, if this is you drinking this early in the morning, put that down. I'm just kidding, but come on. All right, now, the Four of Cups can be somebody in one of my decks where somebody is actually drinking, right? I, one of them, I don't remember which one it is, but it's this person is depicted drinking and just kind of having, they're really focused on whatever it is, the shock, the emotion, whatever it was, the, the ego blow uh, for some of you. Don't let this, if this isn't what's happening, this, whatever this is, this energy with the moon card, uh, whatever it is that you find out puts you in that vibe, right? Um, hmm. What is this four of cups energy for Scorpio? Can you help us elaborate, Spirit? Let me shuffle one more time. Oh shit, Scorpio, here we go. Okay, you, this is something from the past resurfacing, right? So again, I, I do feel like it's somebody's angel spirit guide saying, hey, 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 when this comes up, it might not be what you wanna know, what you wanna hear, whatever. It could be in regards into some, in, uh, in regards to a level of rejection here, okay? Maybe somebody, you know, ghosted you, rejected you here, whatever it is, there's something here coming to light possibly for some of you in regards to that. Now, if it's not that, it's just some type of, uh, situation where there was some type of uh bad timing um there's something about timing that's important here trusting your intuition or listening to your intuition there was something off about timing but there was also something that um you know there was more to something that met the eye here okay so you know it's hard to say whether it's something that's going to be awful right it just might be something that you don't want to hear because i'm not getting it with the four of cups though the way that rum came out somebody really likes rum right so <laughs> um i do feel like there's some type of a level of scheme plot lie deceptive energy here with the seven of swords that will kind of with the moon card be disappointing right shocking surprising but with the two of the high priest excuse me in the number two here so i don't know something about the date the second could be significant um trusting your intuition why did this want to flip out the empress energy all right scorpio bottom line too with empress over coming out on top of that um just remember right like You deserve to enjoy your life. You deserve to be happy. You deserve all these wonderful, beautiful things. It's time to do this. It's time to take care of yourself as well as others, right? But step into this energy of I'm deserving of this, even this love from myself. Um, you know, because somebody might, it, again, it just seems like a situation where you might be dealing with something that's a little difficult uh, or, hmm. With this Nine of Pentacles, it doesn't seem like it seems like you're doing well financially, like you're financially independent, you're doing well in that regard. We've got a high vibrational energy here. Um, I did say temperance energy before I started the reading, so that is divine guidance, finding, finding when I was shuffling the cards, divine guidance, um, being guided by spirit in a direction, being in a higher vibration, right? So I do feel like it's, it's kind of like spirit, whatever this is, it's like a little warning, like, hey, FYI, even if it was like, okay, the week of the full moon, the second could have been significant, something here happening here where, you know, uh, basically don't let it knock you off your throne here, okay, with this empress, empress energy, you know, um, There's gonna be some type of communication too in this regard that was manipulative or is manipulating or manipulative energy. So also maybe that's what this moon card energy is. Just keep that in mind. Aries Leo Sag energy and 
uh, Virgo Gemini. What is this eight of wands? But whatever you're doing too in the direction, look, as, as soon as I was gonna say that, I felt it moving towards like career, uh, whatever it is that you're doing here, because this is also something taking off fast, fast movement. You've got good news with the page of Pente Pentacles, excuse me. So um, some of you could even be getting communication news of doing something new here, starting some type of course study, uh, side hustle study, right? Uh, learning to do something else, basically that energy of like, all right, well, I'm doing this now, building on success, right? Adding something else to the mix. Here's what I'm getting. Whatever this is, it's going to take off fast. So if you've been getting those nudges, I feel like this is also a reason right? maybe right now where you're getting the message like, hey, some shit might happen here, but uh, you're being guided to really focus in this direction, right? Because there's some opportunities here. I feel like, you know, it'll be disappointing to miss, right? So Hermit Energy Virgo with a five of pentacles. Yeah, do some soul searching, uh, spend some time meditating. The Hermit is, you know, an energy that, you know, um, seeks the light within. This is also somebody who's very spiritually enlightened, right? So they understand when spirit gives messages and, uh, you know, what they are and which, what, which direction to go uh, in regards to even, you know, trusting your intuition here, okay, with things being revealed. It can even be something being revealed by some type of intuitive knowledge, okay? So again, not um, untypical of a Scorpio. Um, for some of you, uh, if there's been fears surrounding money, um, and you've been worried about some type of uncertain self-employment energy or something that you're gonna do, or just in general uh, with the Five of Pentacles. It is also, you know, Spirit suggesting, hey, there's a different, you know, avenue here too. Again, I'm getting like some type of second form of income that, you know, you can do uh, also on top of what you're doing. Okay, it's gonna take off. Whatever this is, it's gonna be successful. So with the Three of Cups, there's a lot of celebratory energy coming into, uh, your energy this week, but a little bit of drama with the five of wands. So it's kind of like, eh, take the good with the bad here, right? Scorpio. Um, there could also be here, this is uh, some fun, wanting to kind of celebrate someone's energy. Um, fun, flirty, having fun. Uh, this can be like almost a romantic, fun, celebratory energy too. Um, it does say stream of love at the bottom. That's why I'm kind of getting that vibe too, right, of this card. So, you know, um, with the three of cups and the five of ones, maybe there is somebody that you're dealing with where there could be a bit of competition on your side, your person's side. It's there though, okay? Um, so what is this energy showing? <laughs> I feel like, okay, with the king of cups, um, Spirit is just really saying, open your heart and mind to those around you, okay? Um, you know, be emotionally available, especially if there's some sort of, I'm picking up on a connection where, you know, again, you could be, um, you know, in this day and age, a lot of people sometimes will try to date around or date a lot of people to figure out who that is that they want to be with. You know, not everybody. I know Scorpios are typically like one, one person. I don't know. Most, one person at a time, right? We're just very, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, at least high vibrational. You know, but everybody has their own way of life, right? So I'm not here to judge either if you're polyamorous or whatever it is that you like to do. I just know Scorpios can be a little bit, you know, <laughs> not very typical of a Scorpio in that regard. We like, we don't like to share, I guess. Oh, let me shut up. So, um, I do feel like it's kind of like spirit saying or nudging you, whatever the situation is, kind of be a little bit more emotionally there. There is competition, but at this point in time, you know, um, if there's more of an emotional connection with you and this person, then there is, right? So that is kind of the vibe that I'm getting. We've got, here's the hermit again, and then we've got the hierophant. To me, this is all about Scorpio, really do some soul searching about what you're investing in, um, in regards to dedicating yourself, committing yourself, whether it's relationships. For some of you, again, there is some type of spirituality that's important here, obviously with the Hierophant and the Hermit, right? So you could be a healer, teacher, reader, whatever, but there's definitely energy here of, you know, things it just seems like be careful here about like the vibrational stuff this week, right? So don't let some stuff get you all, your panties all in a fucking wad, right? Basically, 
or your your big boy pants, whatever. It's just like, you know, um, again, we've got the good with the bad here, right? Um, I feel like it, the most important thing is to step into more of a lighthearted energy, release whatever this fear is, because whatever it is, Whatever is happening here, if you feel like with the magician card, um, like manifestations are coming in for you as fast, maybe get this is spirit saying here with the eight of wands too, with the page of pentacles, this is a sign that, you know, things in this regard are about to really start taking off for you. Okay, so, and it's, it's going to be very fast moving, right? It's going to be like, whoa, okay, here it is, right? <laughs> so it's really important this week to stay in this this energy okay so with the four of swords some of you really need to take either some also some time off like hey your day off turn the phone off sleep all day you know what I mean you don't owe anybody any excuse or what or explanation right take care of yourself right take some me time for you which Scorpios are pretty good about doing that anyway right but I feel like there's a vacation some of you might be thinking about taking here because the thought swords are thoughts too right so I feel like spirit is urging you too with this message to, to take some time out and do that if you can or find a way even if you feel like you might not be able to afford it so what other messages do we have with this hierophant energy with the hermit who Scorpio ten of pentacles <laughs> with the seven of wands choose your battles wisely right now protect your energy like i was saying with the ten of pentacles i feel like this is building a legacy right whether it's with a person or not this is here okay so really protect your energy protect your connections protect whatever it is that's important to you that you feel like might even be a challenge like we might have a situation here for some of you where there is competition here in regards to a romantic situation so um if you haven't taken something to a higher level of commitment here with the Hierophant, uh, Spirit is asking you to do some soul searching at this time, maybe in regards to this situation, or you will be, okay? Um, but I feel like it's going to end up good here with the Ten of Pentacles. Let's pull one more card and then I got to go. Can you help us elaborate with this Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio? Hmm. Scorpio, uh, Spirit is just saying, I feel like right now, get creative, have fun. Um, if you've been in this cutting people out kind of like uh, Queen of Swords energy, yes, protect your energy. But I feel like Spirit is also saying, you know, don't be too quick to cut out something without, you know, kind of giving it a chance here maybe. Or um, if it is a little bit of competitive energy and this is who you want, this is what who you would like to be with here. I feel like this the vibe is, you know, I feel like something can be, you know, uh, I feel like there's going to be a higher level of commitment here, but Spirit is saying, yeah, here's the star card. Prayers being answered, feeling like hope. There's hope in a situation or being optimistic. So again, there's the energy of needing to be optimistic, okay? I feel like it's basically changing the vibe in a situation uh, might be beneficial for you guys this week if this makes sense. Um, but also for some of you, you could be finding out some things here in regards to something deceptive energy i just feel like whatever this was if it wasn't a personal relationship where you were ghosted rejected whatever there's some type of a situation that was surprising with a level of rejection that you might be facing some um you know things coming out things being exposed in that regard so just keep your vibration high this week i hope this message was helpful for someone look here's the ten of cups i'm gonna shut up <laughs> i love you guys bye